If you like the new pop-out windows on the X-Plane 11 for the GPS 530 and 430 and the G1000 and several other windows that are available and you've always wanted to be able to pop out the windows on other displays on other cockpits in X-Plane then this is the video for you. I'm going to explain about a program that I found called X-Texture Extractor. I recently got to go to the uh, wonderful Flight Sim Expo uh, 2019 in Orlando and when you're there I was helping the guys at the uh, Sim Innovations booth but you meet some unbelievably interesting people and you see some interesting things and I kind of had a twofer with a guy named Wayne Pekarski who came up with a cool program called X Texture Extractor. Now what you're seeing here are popped out windows that are taking those displays that you see on the 3D cockpit in the background and it allows you to pop those either to windows within X-Plane or to pop them out just like you can in the X-Plane 11 for the windows I mentioned before. You can pop them out, resize them, save the configuration, have that configuration come back next time when you when you open uh, up X-Plane. Uh, so for those who are cockpit builders this is really an unbelievable improvement and this works for most of the airplanes uh, that are available. So this video is going to show you a little bit about X-Texture Extractor and I hope to do a follow-up video that will show you how you can create your own files to extract these images for other airplanes that may not have already been included in the download. So let's get to it. So you can find uh, X-Texture Extractor at the xplane.org under Utilities and uh, to download it just come down and download this file and the file will be downloaded. Uh, you want to download the X Texture Extractor and save that to your computer. Once it's downloaded, uh, you can uh, open the archive and just copy the complete file and we're going to put that in our X-Plane folder. So let's uh, close that and let's go to our X-Plane uh, folder. We'll find uh, open the file location. Here's your basic uh, X-Plane folder. You want to go to resources and uh, plugins and then you want to go down to right here in any place in the uh, side here just click uh, paste and that's going to paste the uh, folder into your plugins folder now as you look at this let's just open this and see what's in there there is the 64-bit uh, version the Java client and then there's a number of files here which are files that help uh, X texture extractor find uh, the panel renderings and put them into uh, and divide those into windows that can be brought into your application. So let's start up uh, X-Plane and I'll give you a better explanation of how this works by using one of these aircraft that are here. We'll use the standard Boeing 737 uh, air aircraft that's in the laminar research file. So as we open up uh, X, the uh, simulator, the uh, Boeing 737-800, you can see a bunch of windows here that are defined by that file that I just showed you. The problem is they're showing garbage. Let me explain a little bit about the, uh, the uh, interface here. What, what happens is there's, there are files, uh, there's a file in the aircraft file in the uh, 3D cockpit called panels 
it's really not called panels it's in a folder called panels and it is a file that can vary from airplane to airplane but it provides a, a single texture that can be drawn to to create uh, the different displays in the cockpit for example the PFD the ND uh, and several other the ECAS e and, and so on in the second ECAS here several of these things are drawn that way now they don't pop out when you click them like uh, some of the windows in X-Plane and the idea is to bring these windows into these windows which can be resized and popped out and used as we use the, uh, the all the uh, different windows for the G1000 and the uh, G530 and 430 and so on. So what happens is we there's a lot of textures in here uh, but we have it, they're randomly loaded and unfortunately they're loaded in ran kind of a different order maybe each time depending on what's running in the way of scenery and so on so we have to click this little arrow here and as we click that arrow we'll step through all the and we're looking for something to show up that we recognize and whoop, here we go number six so six is the magic number on this one now it won't be the next time we start it necessarily but it is now and you can see these see now we can take these wind of individual windows and we can grab them with our mouse and we can resize them unfortunately they don't constrain in the aspect ratio even if you hold the shift key down but you can see that uh, we can make them as big as we want uh, we can click pop out or click that little symbol that you see right here it's similar to what's in the, in the pop out windows in, in uh, X-Plane but then we can drag these from monitor to monitor. There, the, anything that's connected to the computer, we can drag these off and on the onto other monitors and so on. So we could use them. Now, I, the great use I find for them is, use, of course, you know I love Air Manager, and and we can create openings in the panels. So we have these great panels with good interact, interactivity, but we can also take these great uh, nav displays and and other glass windows and put them into those openings and take advantage of uh, something that's very complicated that's already programmed and we can bring that right into our into our cockpit and use it with a, a, a touch monitor and so on so let me uh, show you a little bit more about how this works so let's say you you get these windows all pre-positioned the way you want them now the popped out one just went to the back because it's popped out uh, but we can resize these and rearrange them and do whatever we want and then we can come up here and click this little button that says SV for save and if we click it and once we get a number there then we've saved that so that configuration is saved next time we launch this aircraft we're gonna see that same window configuration including the popped out window and they'll be where we left them unless we hit clear which clears that now if we get things messed up like let's close a few windows here let's close this window and let's close this window here and since we saved it if we click the um, the load the LD load button you can see they all pop right back where they are and that uh, that popped out window comes to the front so load is uh, a way to uh, bring those windows back now there's a little button here that says debug and I'm going to explain that in the next video I'm going to do a video next to show you how you could cr create one of these files for yourself for an aircraft that might not already have a file as I said there's quite a few included uh, and I'm sure there's more being added but I wanted to show you how you can fairly easily create your own uh, for use I will tell you that uh, it's a little bit tricky and this is a little bit hacky but it sure brings great capabilities to X-Plane using X-Texture Extractor. Like I said Wayne Petarski is a uh, is a, a really brilliant guy to come up with this and uh, it's just what we needed you know we're still waiting for uh, for the folks at Laminar to make this kind of a built-in function somehow but in the meantime for those of us who build cockpits and want to take these nav displays and move them around this is a, a way to get that done in the interim while we wait for that 
Now the final thing I want to tell you about X Texture Extractor is that if you go to the Google Play Store and search for it, there is a application for Google uh, Android uh, devices that allows you to stream these textures, uh, these windows from uh, uh, your uh, Windows uh, version of, of uh, X-Plane uh, and to export them to a tablet which makes a really nice addition sometimes to a cockpit. If you have several couple tablets you could put some of these nav displays on those too. So that's what I wanted to cover in this short video. Uh, in my next video I'm going to talk a little bit about how you can find the texture and to create the simple file, simple text file that will tell uh, X Texture Extractor how to chop that texture that's being drawn for all these displays into little pieces and put them into the windows so that you can use them. Thanks for watching the video. Watch the next video if you'd like to go a little further, but if you'd like to use Text ex Extractor, I encourage you to uh, download the free download from the, uh, the org, xplane.org, and uh, give it a try. It's pretty cool. Thanks.